I mean, the community struggles with challenge, but the what I see as the main tension and the main dissonance in terms of how the Jewish community integrates into larger society uh, does go back to the war period, um, which is you know over 70 years ago. Uh, but the fact is that, in a very marked way, the deportation of Jews from Slovakia to death camps such as Auschwitz and Sobibor was implemented by the state of, of Slovakia. Uh, whereas in other countries there was a protectorate or there was an occupation, here uh, the Jews very much look at it and with historical accuracy that the Slovak state gladly acted as, as agents for the ghettoization and deportation of, of, of Slovak Jews. Now the president of the Slovak state in those years was a Catholic priest by the name of Joseph Tiso and his uh, role is, is undeniable but because of his historical position as having been very prominent in the Catholic Church, uh, you have more and more Catholics and, and spokesmen speaking against the Holocaust and, and speaking with a sense of solidarity uh, towards Jews, but they're not willing to make that final step and condemn the activities of the state as authorized by its president, who was also a, a church, uh, important church functionary. And, well, this is quite a long time ago, but as long as somehow this is not transcended, uh, the Jewish community feels at odds with the, the local Catholic church because they feel that, in a sense, they never made this statement just to say, you know, Joseph Tisa was wrong, or he was a uh, he was a war criminal. What he did does not represent uh, Christianity or anything like that. Uh, there has been progress, but this degree of progress has not been achieved. And so, uh, where the Catholic Church is the largest religious organization in the state, and uh, surely uh, many people are not devoted Catholics. But there is a general sense of it being the most popular religious group, and yet here we are, you know, 70 years later, and it seems that the church has not come to terms with, with that. And that leaves a vacuum um, for other groups, uh, more radical, to adopt this kind of neo-fascist reactionary attitudes towards Jews. And Jews locally fear that, although these voices are more extreme, but that they are quietly empowered by kind of a majority who still hasn't really come to terms with what Slovakia did to its Jews during the, the Holocaust period.